Thank you so much, Chris. The good thing about uh, moving from Oxfam to Landesa is that uh, the energy and the enthusiasm uh, and the activism is still there. Now, uh, here comes the technology bit, because for all of this to work, it can only work if technology is supporting uh, the functioning of the system. And for that, uh, we have to thank Miguel Lopera, president and CEO of uh, GS1 Global, who at the end of the day is the guy that is going to make this work. Miguel. Thank you very much, and uh, good morning to everybody. Unfortunately, I, I worked in technology many years ago, and now my, my knowledge on technology is limited. I'll try to make the, my exposition very high level so everybody can understand. So before we talk about blue numbers, just have some words on, on GS1, because many of you probably you are not aware of what, uh, what we do. So GS1 is a global standards and services organization that everybody knows us because uh, our most famous product is the barcode that you find all across the world. So this is GS1. And, uh, but now this was uh, created 40 years ago and now we operate with uh, 24 sectors and uh, our core competence is identification, registration, and then the service that we provide, one of the strongest services is about traceability of food and products, which is very, very connected to what we, we are discussing here. We have over 1.5 million uh, users of the GS1 system, and uh, practically 99.99% are small and medium enterprises. So GS1 is a, is a global federation. We have uh, local offices, local GS1 offices in 112 countries, which is fundamental because when you develop a, a, a global standard or a global service, the technical part is the easy part. The difficult part is to train these 1.5 million people in all those countries. This is why, why our local organizations are very well trained and prepared to provide education and training, which is probably the biggest challenge that we have in this project. So we are neutral, we are not for profit, and uh, our governance is a general assembly in which we have one representative from every country. So we are not influenced, I mean, we are influenced by companies and sectors, but at the end is the voice of these uh, 112 countries, what is important. So next is uh, created 40 years ago. But let's go to the initiative. What is the, this, uh, this initiative? We, we have joined UNGC and ITC in this initiative to provide what we know, which is a global registry for sustainable farmers with two main objectives. One is to make global food and agricultural systems more sustainable and uh, enable farmers and agribusiness to think and operate in a sustainable way. And uh, at the end of the day, if we achieve that, we will achieve food security, security, which is our final objective. So next, please. So this was the what and now the how. What are we going to do? What we are building, what we have built, is a, is a registry. And uh, so every farmer in any place of the world, through a smartphone or through a laptop, will just enter into the website and enter very, very basic data. And they can enter very basic data, and if they want, because it's optional, they can enter more information about the product that they crop, and uh, they can decide, my target is to export to Germany. And the system will provide information about all the requirements if you want to export to, to Germany. I mean, what are the global gap certification? So it's going to be an incredible help for all those little farmers to know how sustainable is the way as they are operating. And, uh, and the very, very important thing is because this is uh, something funded by the United Nations, it's going to be for free. And I have to say and I have to thank some of the countries participating in this uh, first pilot. They are already, they are already uh, providing uh, smartphones to the farmers so they can they can, they can accelerate that. 
So this is good not only for, uh, for farmers, it's good for multinational companies. Next, please. And I'm not going to talk about, you know, that all the multinational companies are extremely interested in sustainability, and they have said it uh, in many, many different places. Next, please. I want to insist a little bit here on policymakers, because thanks to all the information that this registry is going to have, uh, the governments will know much in depth what is the production, the areas, and they can take um, uh, policies just to, to favor those areas in which the production is, uh, is better served and the areas in which is more sustainable. And next, please. And the, the last uh, but not least is, uh, is about consumers, because at the end of the day, you know that this new consumer with a smartphone is much more demanding on information. And uh, so they are going to be also benefit with this. Next, please. And uh, this is to conclude. I think that we are in, in, under an incredible initiative that is helping everybody. And the plea and the ask to all of you is uh, please join those pilots that uh, we already have in places like Vietnam, Malaysia, Colombia, Turkey, uh, countries like uh, Netherlands and Denmark that are joining. Because if we want to make it a success, we need all of you. Thank you very much. And last but not least, uh, Puban uh, Selbananatha. He is the head of the ITC office in New York, previously with the UN Global Compact. Uh, he knows all about the Blue uh, Numbers Initiative, together with uh, Joe Bosniak uh, to my left, because they are a bit the, the brains that have uh, thought a little bit 